Hmm. In this video, I'm going to be looking at exactly how much I spent starting out in wargaming and looking at whether or not it really is an expensive hobby. Hello, everybody. Sorry about the cheesy intro, I couldn't resist. Uh, I thought I'd do this video um, because I've heard it said quite a few times that wargaming slash miniature painting is an expensive hobby, uh, which I think is interesting uh, because it's all relative, isn't it? It's like the video I did about how long does it take to paint a miniature. It's all relative, it depends what you want to get out of it. Um, but I think this sort of perception that you can end up spending a fortune or you have to spend a fortune uh, could be uh, a sort of barrier or a concern to people trying to get into the hobby. Uh, and it was a little bit for me, I suppose, when I started. It was a bit like, you'd sort of Google things and you'd see forums and stuff and you'd think, well, how, am I, how deep am I gonna get into this? And you know, is this gonna end up ruining me? <laughs> Do I have the money to get started? Uh, and I suppose what I, what I wanted to do was go back over what I actually spent just getting started. And by getting started, I don't mean, right, I want to get a thousand miniature army, build a big board that I'm going to game on myself, um, a rule set, uh, tons of expensive paints, uh, loads of terrain, all that sort of stuff. I mean, just to get started, just to get some minis, get some paint on them and get them onto a table. Even if it's not your table, you know, you have to join in with something to get going. Uh, because that doesn't have to be a King's Ransom, I don't think. Um, and I've gone back over exactly what I bought, because I can remember it quite clearly, what, what I picked up, because I did quite a lot of research before I started, which turned out to be mainly good decisions. <laughs> uh, and I can remember what I bought, uh, so I've gone back and I've totaled it up. So let's go back and, and see what I bought and what I spent and look at whether or not they were good decisions. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need to kick off is obviously you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy some miniatures. I bought a box of Perry Miniatures plastics. It was the first thing I bought. Uh, they weren't actually this set, they were the infantry set. Um, and they were 20 quid. Exactly same as this, it's 20 quid. Your typical Perry Plastics box is 20 quid. Uh, and I've got 40 miniatures for those 20 quid. And these are plastics, they're on the sprue. Like this, so you have to assemble them, put them together if you're a beginner. Uh, you gotta cut them out and assemble them. But, you know, for 20 quid, I got 40 miniatures. Um, and if I'd have gone with metals to start off with, you'd be looking at double that, at least. Uh, so I, it seemed to me like a good investment, you know, like to, just to get going. All right, I was going to have to put stuff together and learn how to do that and get, get some glue out. Um, but to get a good number of miniatures going, 20 quid seemed fair enough. So I bought them. Good decision turn, that turned out to be. Anyway, uh, obviously the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some paint. Uh, so I, you know realized and researched from the start that you would need primer so i went out and i bought some spray paint rattle can primer if you want to call it that and i bought this which is um a citadel miniatures slash games workshop chaos black primer spray paint which is a whopping great can uh 278 grams 400 milliliters uh, and at the time I think it's gone up a bit then. At the time, I definitely spent eight pounds something because I remember picking it up and going, eight quid? Ooh. Uh, and thinking that was quite pricey for a, a spray can. Um, I don't undercoat my miniatures in this anymore. I don't prime minis in, in this stuff anymore. I haven't used it for ages. Um, there's actually quite a bit left in it. But, you know, I undercoat a different color now, but I started off in black. 
Uh, my first sort of 20 or 40 were done in black undercoat and then I switched to brown, but you know, a primer is a primer in a spray can. So what that, that's eight quid. Then of course you need some paint paint. Again, I did a fair bit of homework because I didn't want to go mad on spending a load of money on stuff I wouldn't use. So I went with Vallejo um, and I bought eight paints to start off with. Eight miniature paints. Here they are. They're not. Ex these are not exactly the same paints that I bought, but they're close to it. So I bought a blue, a red, a yellow. I bought a earthy brown, a green. I bought an off white, a kind of off black slash dark grey, and a metallic. Those are my eight paints, just those eight paints. And I painted my first 40 miniatures largely with those eight paints. Don't get me wrong, a lot of mixing and mistakes went on, but I painted up 40 miniatures with eight paints. Um, I wouldn't want to spend the rest of my life painting like that, no way. But to get to get off, you know, to kick off and, and learn how to do it and um, to start playing around with paint, eight was absolutely fine. And they were £2.50 each at the time. I think they're you know, 2 is what I see a lot now. Uh, plus your delivery and stuff. So I spent about 20 quid, basically, on eight paints. A broadly similar types of colours to that, my eight paints. That's my eight base paints. Then, of course, you are definitely going to need a brush with which to apply your paint. I bought one brush at the time when I started. Just the one. Uh, which was this sort of size, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it was a fairly fat one with a decent point on it, and it was actually a Games Workshop brush. So I don't have the first brush I bought, I don't think. At least I can't find it at the moment. I don't think, I remember throwing it away, but it's not around at the minute, anyway. But it was a Games Workshop, kind of like one of those like medium-sized brushes, and it was about five pounds, if I remember right. Uh, which in hindsight was not a brilliant decision to start off with because I made loads of mistakes with that brush and treated it badly as you do when you're starting out and like did, did stupid stuff with it uh, and if I'm going to do something basic these days I've got these Humbro colour brushes Humbro colour brushes which are less than about four or five quid each um, but they're good utility brushes but you know, I spent I spent a 500 brush one brush to start off with then you've got all your assembly and stuff as well, because when you're going to cut stuff off your sprues and things, you will need to get them off the sprue. And surprisingly, because I know a lot of people don't kick off with this, I did actually buy a sprue cutter, uh, having done a bit of Googling, uh, which is, uh, this is the same one. It's the same thing I started with, I still use it now, with a nice flat edge to clip plastic off sprues without making too much of a mess. That was cheap as chips. It was uh, £2.50. Still going strong, doing a perfectly good job. Once you got your minis off the plastic, I read that you're going to, well, and I realised as well, as soon as I started looking at them, that you're going to need something to clean up your miniatures with. So I bought one of these craft knives, scalpel type thingamajigs off of a, I bought it out of a, a sort of craft and toy shop with some spare blades in the kit. It was two pounds, no actually it was one pound 95. One pound 95 for a metal craft knife. It's, it's the same one, still use it, it does a great job. And I'm only on like the third spare blade out of six or something. So, you know, three or four years later, that has been an absolute stalwart. Uh, and I use that to scrape mould lines of plastic still, and metal. Uh, you need some glue. Um, I started off with super glue, gluing plastics together, like strong super glue, gluing plastics together. I realised that that made a mangly mess quite quickly, but that was just some super glue we happened to have in the house. Uh, and after a bit of a Google, I bought some of this. 
Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, which is basically a super glue designed specifically, or a, ce a cement glue, designed to work with uh, sort of soft plastic. Uh, it was four quid. I've used this to glue together, I'd say around 250 to 300 plastic miniatures. 28 millimeter, millimeter of most shapes and sizes and variants. And as you can see, after three years, and four quid, it's about one third down a bottle. Uh, so that's done me well. Um, yep, so that's what I glue stuff together with. Um, pretty much the last thing which I bought when I started was uh, one <laughs> basing item, which was some Gaines Workshop branded or some citadel whatever it was static grass a small pot of it there it is that's the very same one um i quickly switched to well this started to run low although there's you know you could get a few minis, more minis out of that um and i started well i started doing bigger bases and things and i made a hill when i was fairly early on you know um i needed some static grass for that so i just ended up buying, buying a big old pot of it um, but this is a very good stack grass actually, and it's, it's quite a nice mix of colours, and that is to go on bases. And that was four quid. And that is pretty much it. I mean, I obviously bought a, a bit of PVA. Um, I mean, we had some PVA in the house, PVA glue, to base things with. Um, did I spend any money on bases? No, because I use penny bases. Um, I mean, you do get bases in um, Penny Ridges boxes, but I've always, so far, I've tried to base things individually in a lot of cases. Uh, so for infantry singular bases, I use pennies. Um, so just gather as much of this stuff together just so you can see it all in one place. Uh, and then I'll give you the grand total of what all this came to. Um, and I amassed this over, I don't know, a, a week or two, you know, through, through the medium of the internet and I think I did go into the Games Workshop shop in town to get the primer. Um, but there you go. Um, that's everything I bought. Um, you know, that, that's pretty much what I started with, that lot there. Grand total. Um, if you include the PVA, which was only about a pound of a pound shop type PVA, it was 66 pounds and 45 pence. So 66 pounds, 45. And that got me going. And you know what? Now I sort of total that up. That's a little bit more. It's probably about 20 quid more than I thought I'd spent um, because of all the, 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 mainly because of all the bit of paraphernalia. I mean, the primer at eight quid is, is more expensive than you expect it to be. The brush and the minis is the biggest outlay. Sorry, the, the minis and the paint is the, the basic set of paints and the miniatures. Are your two biggest spends, they're 40 quid combined. The primer is a whopping eight quid, which for primer is, there'll be somebody who will tell you, you know, if you're getting started with a basic primer, there's a, there's a cheaper alternative to that, I'm sure. The brush was a fiver at the time, which I wouldn't recommend you spend a fiver on your first brush. Get something cheap. Um, so there's a couple of things in there which, looking back, were slightly iffy decisions for a new starter. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that for, for 60 quid, you can kick off, you can get going, and you'll be able to build a decent sized unit and get yourself involved in the game for 60 quid. Um, of course, I've spent a lot more money on than then than uh, since then. I've spent um, probably a couple of hundred quid or maybe more. Let's type, let's total that up. That, that could be a future video. How much money have I spent on paint? <laughs> there it is. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of money on paint since then. Um, but there's a reason for that because I don't spend it quite as much on miniatures, which helps me avoid a mountain of unpainted miniatures. But that is for another video. 
uh, at the time. Um, yeah, of course I spent a lot more money on paint since then. And, you know, I've now got ooh, 500 finishes from different periods, um, maybe six. Uh, so I've spent more money on miniatures since then. And I've built a board and stuff, you know, which I've done try to do cheaply. But my point is that, and all of that must be in the many hundreds, I'd imagine, if not a thousand or something. But to kick off and get going and know whether or not this is the right thing for you, whether or not you can do it, and to get started, you know, you don't. it doesn't look like you get much for your 60 sheets, does it? But, um, which is probably about, ooh, what's that in US dollars? 60 quid in US dollars. About 90 US dollars, something like that. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, I don't think it is an expensive hobby. I think it, I think it's as expensive as you want to make it. Um, I think getting started in it and getting getting basic in it is not expensive. I think it's, I think it's relatively cheap to get started. I, maybe it's a cheap hobby to get started in is a bit of an exaggeration, but it's not an expensive hobby to start. No way, no way. Um, if it's a very, if you think it's an expensive hobby, it's because you spend a lot on it because you're really into it and you've got a, a million and one paints, a million and one miniatures, and you've got loads of rule sets and you've built your own board. That's expensive. That's more expensive. Of course it is. Um, but if you're a beginner, this will do you. This is what you need to spend. You know, this is this is what you need in your pocket. You need sixty quid from somewhere. Um, what would be really, really nice, actually, is um, I helped a couple of, well, I helped a friend's kid that was starting out because he was, he's, like, he's young, he's like nine, 10 or something. And they didn't have, they didn't have like a, a, a basic set of eight paints. So I dug out some old paints that I don't use anymore, made up a, made him up a basic set of eight colors, gave them to him. Um, so if you're, if you know of somebody who's curious in the hobby, just dig through that amount of paints you've got like I have and help them out if they're, if they're going to go out and spend 20, 30 quid on paint. You've probably got 20 or 30 quid worth of paint you don't use ever. <laughs> so just give it to him. That's what I did. And he's still painting Games Workshop stuff now. So that turned out to be a good idea. Anyway, how much did you spend when you started? Can you remember what the first thing you bought was? How much did you spend on paint? Like what was the first few weeks for you? What did you spend? I'm interested to know whether people went nuts starting out and spent hundreds, or whether they did what I did. They were like, right, what's, what's the basics I need to get and how much should I spend? And then they, they kept it at that to kick off with. Um, and then has anybody, you know, ever gone back over their 10, 20, 30 years worth of stuff and tried to add it up as to what they've ended up spending? Is there anybody out there with like a 50,000 pound, 70,000 dollar, collection that undoubtedly I'm sure let me know and what do you think is acceptable to spend do you think 60 quid is acceptable to get started I think it is I think it is it's not nothing but it's it's not expensive thanks for watching I found that interesting I spent a bit more than I thought I did um, but it's by no means inaccessible uh, let me know what you think down in the comments tell me in the comments of this video like how much you spent let's have a conversation about where's the best place to get stuff and what you need to get started don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you in a few days. Bye for now.